Hello friends, welcome to my life page. My name is Khushbu Garg and I am going to talk about network administrator today. After completing my MCA from UP Technical University, I started my career as a network administrator with HCL Technologies Noida. There I was responsible for maintaining GEGIS servers. Uh, GEGIS had uh, outsourced their ma maintenance of the server to HCL Technologies. Now, wh what is uh, network administrator? Let's talk about ne network administrator. Uh, to explain uh, network administration, I'll start with our standalone computers. What are standalone computers? The computers that we use at our home are the standalone computers. Means they are not connected to any other computer or any other devices. Uh, now, coming on to the organizations uh, where, where there are lot of computers interconnected, the reason being they can share files or documents or anything that they want to share between the computers uh, and basically uh, that becomes a network when uh, different computers and other devices are connected to a single network then that becomes a network and it is very important to administer the network as the network grows uh, with the administration uh, the administration plays more important role um, in in the work that that I used to perform in HCL Technologies. There we were responsible for maintaining GEGIS servers. GEGIS had had their huge network, which and whose maintenance they had outsourced to HCL Technologies. Uh, and uh, in, in that maintenance, we were uh, responsible for hardware and software maintenance. And uh, it included, uh, uh, and the administration was done on the basis of the tickets. Uh, the GEGIS client used to raise their tickets and send it to us. And when we received the tickets in our ticketing tool, we, we used to open the tickets and look into the problem and according to the problem, we used to log in into their systems by using Telnet or remote login. Uh, and then we used to see their problems, what, what exactly is the problem, uh, why it is coming. And uh, we were responsible for all those, ad all those kind of administration. Most of the problems were related to privileges and access management. Most of the problems, uh, if the computers are in a network, that doesn't mean that everybody can see, has the privilege to access everything on the network. But they, most of the files or documents are hidden from, from different types of roles and profiles. And according to the roles of the uh, and according to the roles of the employee in the computer, the uh, sorry. Uh, and according to the roles uh, in the organizations, uh, they had access to certain documents and profiles. And uh, network administration is all about administering their uh, access management and, uh, and the network, the connected network, whether the network is connected properly or not. Now let's talk about the education that is required for network administrator. First is, is the knowledge of operating system. 